Вы получаете картинку? Я сейчас включу. And here we go. Hatches are open. Gennady Padalka, veteran Russian cosmonaut, first to float in. All right, then I'll stop and go back to the beginning. Yes, please. Sergey Revin, next, entering the International Space Station for the first time. Okay, we started receiving the image, so no, you can uh, keep it going. And Joe Acaba, returning to the International Space Station after first being on board three years ago. The International Space Station back to a six-man crew. The hatches opened at 12.10 p.m. Moscow time, 3.10 a.m. Central time. How's it now? The six crew members uh, now will make their way into the Zvezda service module to uh, begin the process of uh, putting on headsets for the congratulatory calls uh, from uh, space officials and family members on the balcony at the Russian Mission Control Center. Sergey, I don't think we're down licking it any longer. Just one second, stand by. We'll try to figure it out. Copy. Олег, ну все, значит, спасибо, давайте тогда в прямом режиме. Олег, thank you. Let's broadcast it live. Хорошо, то есть сейчас коммутирую. Copy. This is Mission Control Karyov once again uh, waiting for the crew to reconfigure cameras on board the International Space Station in advance of uh, the congratulatory calls from uh, dignitaries and family members gathered on the balcony of the Russian Mission Control Center here. This following uh, the opening of the hatch and the initial welcoming uh, by the two crews with one another that occurred about three minutes ago at 3.10 a.m. Central Time. Yes, we can see you already. Can you see the picture? Yes, we can. Thank you. Let's wait for Oleg. Oleg is here. Everyone is in place. Can you see me in the picture? Yes, we can see everyone on the screen. Dear friends, Russian Mission Control Center is greeting you and congratulations on the successful completion of the docking to the ISS. We can see that you're in great mood and that everything is great on board. Thank you. 
Thank you for the congratulations. We hope that everything will also be as great further and we will complete the timeline and everything that has been initially scheduled for your flight. I would like to say happy birthday to Joe Kabar. Today is his 45th birthday, and I am sure that the program will be completed perfectly. And good luck with all the tasks that are scheduled. First of all, I want to say thank you to our American colleagues as well. Thank you very much for the great uh, gift and for such a great day. Thank you. This is Joel Montalbano, and on behalf of NASA, I want to congratulate you guys on a great launch, a great docking, and I wish you an outstanding mission. To Joe, also, happy birthday. I hope all your dreams come true. And on behalf of the life support specialists and the control centers around the world, we hope you do not use any birthday candles today. All right, thanks a lot, Joel. I appreciate it. Uh, yeah, this is a uh, the perfect gift. Uh, dreams are coming true every day up here. So thank you very much, and we won't be lighting any candles today. All right, uh, let's think. Now we're going to pass you on to the families. On behalf of the President, the hero of the Soviet Union, we would like to greet you on board this station. Such a great team. And I want it to be a seventh crew member, but I hope that we'll have a seventh crew member on board the station soon. So we would like to wish you good luck that you're doing for the sake of the humanity. And do you remember our request that we had for you? Yes, everything is on board the station already. Thank you very much. Hello. How do you feel? It's really unusual to watch you there. Everything is great. Congratulations. Probably you're really nervous, but thank you very much. So how did you feel during our launch? Did you see the rocket? Yes, yes, I saw everything. I saw everything. How's our son Yaroslav? He's sitting nearby. But why is he silent? Hi, Daddy. This is Yaroslav Revin. I'm really glad to see you on board the station, and I would like to wish you all the best. I'll be waiting for you here on Earth when you come back. Okay, thank you. Hello, son. Thank you, mom. Congratulations on the docking. And congratulations to all the crew. I wish you all the best and good health. Thank you. And happy birthday to Joe. Wish you all the best, good health. All the best to you all. Good luck. Thank you. Joseph. Este es tu padre. ¿Cómo te sientes? Over. Hello, well, Rafael. ¿Cómo estás? Siento muy bien. I feel great. Uh, it's good to talk to you. I hope you guys enjoyed the launch and had a chance to enjoy the docking. It's uh, it's going great, and we're all feeling wonderful.
tenemos una pequeña uh, sorpresa para ti. Hold one. Happy. Cumpleaños feliz, te deseamos a ti. Cumpleaños querido Joey, cumpleaños feliz. Oh, that's beautiful. Thank you very much. Well, uh, it's the best present I could have. I appreciate it. That is some good singing, and I'll teach that to my uh, my crewmates here shortly. Thanks a lot. Okay. Soy yo. Hi, yo. Soy yo, tu mamá. Te quiero mucho. Dios te bendiga a ti y a los que están contigo. Bye. Here, Cindy. Okay, Mama, love it. Bendición. Hey, brother, it's Cindy. You're looking good. Happy birthday, and I'll see you at Loganberry. <laughs> Copy that. Uh, feeling good. Uh, thanks, you guys, a lot for coming out. It was great hanging out with you, and uh, have a safe trip back to uh, California. And uh, we'll see you in a few months. Hi, Joyce. Hi, Joe. It's Virginia. Happy birthday. Now, that's how you celebrate a birthday. Uh, you had a wonderful mission. I w wish you the best of luck. And thank you so much for my cake. It's the best birthday I ever had. I love you. Be safe. God bless you. I love you, Virginia. Your dad again. I'm glad. Uh, uh, just, together and you can enjoy it. Joseph, this is your dad again. Uh, just uh, want to wish you a very good flight and a soft landing. Uh, we'll see you on the ground real soon. Bye. All right, Pops. We'll talk to you later. Thanks. Sergey, hello, this is Natalia. I'm very glad to see you on board this station. It's really unusual for me, and I would like to say congratulations to all of you. We are very proud of you. Proud of you all. And Joe, happy birthday. I think it's going to be one of the most remarkable days of his life. We love you all very much. Sergey, can you hear me? Open your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, got it. We're smiling here. Gennady, your family is saying hi to you. They're not here yet. Congratulations on the successful docking. Thank you very much. Thank you. Dear friends, Russian Mission Control Center is greeting you and we wish you good luck and our coverage is coming to an end and all our Russian colleagues and family members wish you best of luck. But we have one more person who is going to talk to you, just one more minute. Hey, Joe, it's Hefe. I wanted to say happy birthday. We're so proud of you. You look great. And I think if uh, Smokey Bear could talk, he would say, wow. <laughs> See you when you get back down. Hey, Jeff, thanks a lot. 
Thanks, Jeff, for coming out and making the uh, the long journey, and I uh, really appreciate it. And I felt like Smokey was talking to me a couple times during the flight, so I appreciate it. Have a safe flight back and tell the family I said hello. Uh, love you. Bye-bye. Okay, thank you very much. The press conference is over. Copy. Thank you very much. Yeah, we disassemble. Wish good luck and good teamwork. And with that, uh, the new Crew members, uh, Gennady Padanka, the Soyuz commander, flight engineer Sergey Revin, NASA flight engineer Joe Acaba, and uh, their new crewmates, uh, Oleg Kononenko, the Expedition 31 commander, Don Pettit, the NASA flight engineer, European Space Agency flight engineer Andre Kuipers, uh, have concluded uh, the welcoming ceremony, and now we'll begin uh, to uh, get down to the business of uh, an orientation, a safety briefing, to transfer uh, a few items uh, brought up on the Soyuz TMA-04M spacecraft and uh, to settle in uh, for their first full day together, a busy day in which uh, they'll deactivate the Soyuz systems, uh, begin uh, orientation briefings, and uh, set the stage uh, for the next uh, item uh, on the agenda for the International Space Station being Saturday's launch of the first commercial cargo ship to the international outpost, that being the SpaceX Dragon spacecraft, uh, the cargo vehicle that, if all things go as planned, uh, will arrive at the station for a grapple and berthing next Tuesday. So uh, with that, uh, the welcoming ceremony is complete. Joe Acaba, a native of Southern California, but the first astronaut of Puerto Rican descent to fly in space, uh, was uh, feted and uh, honored by his family, his uh, mother and father and his sister, uh, who sang happy birthday to him in Spanish. Uh, Acaba turned 45 years old today, uh, certainly a memorable birthday for him, as he and his crewmates, Gennady Padalka and Sergey Revin, smoothly docked to the International Space Station about three hours and 45 minutes ago to begin their four months aboard the orbital outpost. So with that, we'll uh, wrap up our coverage for today. Uh, one programming note, the ISS update hour, uh, to recap all of the day's events of the arrival of the new crew members on board the International Space Station will be broadcast on NASA television today at 10 a.m. Central Time, 11 a.m. Eastern Time. And then on Saturday, launch coverage of the Falcon 9 rocket and the SpaceX Dragon spacecraft from the Cape Canaveral Air Force Station in Florida begins at 2.30 a.m. Central Time, 3.30 a.m. Eastern Time to usher in a new era of commercial cargo delivery to the International Space Station. That's it for now. Signing off, this is Mission Control, Karyoff.